Hey guys, welcome back to my channel. So anyway, I thought it was, it's been a day or two since we've sat down and had a little coffee together. So, there is nothing better than the, t like the first sip of warm coffee first thing in the morning. Am I not right? I mean, is that just like the best? I'm telling you. It's crazy. So, anyway, I, uh, Mason's running around. Um, just got up, got out of the shower, uh, got Mason in the tub. His TSS will be here probably in about a half hour ish or so. Um, and we were all ready. Um, he has his breakfast. Um, he's supposed to be eating his breakfast. So mom's just kind of sitting back having some coffee before she comes. And I thought I would share it with my friends. Oh. So anyway, I woke up this morning to crazy storms outside. Like it's so windy. You guys may even be able to hear that. I don't know how good my microphone is you know the little mic is on the camera but oh my goodness it is so crazy this morning it's supposed to be like 68 degrees i believe out today and horrible storms with like hail and like crazy stuff um they're saying that we we could lose power so i've done the preparing I have charged the telephones, I have charged the iPads, um, everything's charged, I have my, my candles out ready to go, I know where my flashlights are, um, you know, I mean, the start of spring, I mean, I know it's not spring yet, but the start of spring, you have to kind of be prepared for all of that, um, where we live because a storm can hit like that. I mean, usually it's not like a, well, it is the beginning of March. I guess it is March 1st. So, what, we have like three weeks till we actually hit spring. So, that's awesome. That's great. Because <laughs> I'm ready. And usually I'm the one that is like, oh, I love winter and I love the snow and I love to shovel and I love the, I don't know what happened this year because I don't love it, sick of it, ready for it to get, and we haven't even had a bad. We haven't even had it bad, um, but I'm ready for spring. I want spring. I want to do my porch. I want to start planting. I want warm weather. <laughs> I was actually like, you know, I've been doing like some early spring cleaning lately, um, and I was cleaning out, not really cleaning out, but just kind of rearranging things in our spare bedroom closet yesterday and um at the end of last summer I had taken everything out and I put our air conditioner our bedroom air conditioner in on the bottom because I knew I wasn't gonna need that all winter long you know so I was like oh should I take it out because I'm gonna have to like in the next two months have to rip everything back out of here and pull that air conditioner I didn't take it out just because of laziness, pure laziness on my part, I guess. Um, but in two months, I'm gonna have to take everything back because that's just a, like a storage for us, that spare bedroom closet. So it is literally from the floor to almost the ceiling in there with just stuff. I mean, um, like I said, that's where I have, I have decorations, I have Halloween decorations, I have Christmas decorations, I have old, um, clothes that we don't wear anymore. I have blankets, I have sheets, I have like all kinds of stuff in there. And um, I should have probably pulled that air conditioner out, but like I said, it was just pure laziness on my part. So I was so impressed. I'm going to tell you guys, um, I'm sure you guys don't even care, but um, we had got a crack in our windshield um 
and we took it yesterday to have it fixed. Now we have only ever had windshield issues one other time and that was when our older kids were so young. Um, I don't even remember how old they were. So I mean it must have been at least 15 years ago ish something like that. Um, and when we had those windshield issues, we did have to have the whole windshield replaced. And um, I remember we had Safe Light do it back then. Um, and I remember that they wouldn't let us drive the vehicle. We had a van at the time, a minivan. They would not let us drive that. They had to come and pick it up. Um, and then I don't believe we were able to use that vehicle for like 24 hours. I really think that that's what it was. Like it was like 24 hours we were able to use it. So yesterday we go to have it fixed and it took them an hour and a half and we drove off the lot. I was like so shocked. I'm like, are you kidding? Uh, but I was also kind of nervous. I'm like, is this gonna, is it gonna stay? Is it gonna, <laughs> I was kind of nervous, but my husband went to work last night and came home and the windshield's still in. So I just noticed he took the tape off because they did have tape on it. They said to leave the tape on just for a couple of hours. Well, he left it on all night because I see he just took it off this morning, but I was just very shocked, very impressed, too, with how quick they did it. The only thing I wasn't impressed with was they said it would only be like an hour and a half. So I put Mason, we put Mason in his stroller, and I just thought that we would go into there because they told us they, they had a waiting area. And we would just go into the waiting area. I took some snacks and whatever. You know that closet that I told you I use for storage? Um, that's probably bigger than their waiting area. <laughs> I mean, their waiting area was so small. So, luckily it was a nice day yesterday though, because we just took off and we, we went for a walk and walked around town. We went over to a local, um, cafe and had some hot chocolate and, um, so it was nice, but I was just so surprised and shocked with how quick they were. So, kudos to you, Safe Light. Kudos to you. Um, but now I don't have to worry about Sonny's, the windshield smashing out while he's going to work or something. I was so nervous about that. He's in there. We have been trying to potty train, potty train, potty train, potty train. Oh my goodness. Um, you know, with, with our older two, it was so easy with them. Um, with our daughter, she's the oldest, um, it was like, when she was two, she wanted her ears pierced. And so we told her, um, well, at first daddy was like, no, she ain't getting her ears pierced. <laughs> and I'm like, yes, is if she wants her ears pierced, as soon as she gets potty trained, as soon as she can pee and poo in the potty, then she can have her ears pierced. So then finally dad went along with me. But um, because there was that incentive there, it like literally, she like overnight, she was so easy. And then came Scotty, our middle child. Um, he was a little more difficult, but he was still very easy. Um, the only reason I say he was a little more difficult is because he did weird things. He did very weird things. Okay, like um, one time he had went, he went into his bedroom. He took all the toys, <laughs> he took all the toys out of his toy box, okay? Um, he climbed in his toy box and he pooped in his toy box. Which, okay, I had a mess to clean up, but he took all the toys out. <laughs> like, look at that. You know, um, another time, he, he used to climb behind our couch. And um, so another time, he had taken a towel 
behind the couch and he laid it on the floor and he pooped on the floor, on the towel. Which, okay. <laughs> but, so he did like weird things like that that we had to deal with. But other than that, he was still pretty easy. Mason, on the other hand, is, oh, those potty training, <laughs> these potty training days are, before it was really hard because he, um, because how I potty train is pretty much I just put the potty in the living room and, you know, we'll run around with no diaper on if we're just here by ourselves. Um, and we do it that way before this whole past year from two to three he had people in and out of here all day long like he had his speech therapist his occupational therapist his special instructor his tss his bsu like they were all here like so we had people here all week long well now that he is in school um he goes to school in the mornings uh monday and friday and um then Tuesday, Wednesday, Thursday, his TSS comes in the morning. So now we only have things going on in the morning. So in the afternoons now, we can get on that potty train and train, you know. <laughs> um, so we've, we've been starting to really crack down, like, since he's turned three. So wish us luck. And if you have any tips... I'm all for them. <laughs> Leave them in the comments below. Hi, buddy. Oh, are you all done? All done? He comes and he, he gives me his cup. <laughs> Thanks. He's all done. <laughs> so, but that's, that's what we've been doing. That's what's been going on here in our household. My husband has to go have some procedures done today. Um, so we do have to go out this afternoon. Um, some tests, he's been having a lot of stomach issues and so we're gonna go do that this afternoon. Um, but they didn't tell us when they sent us the paper or when he went to the doctor, they didn't tell us if he had to fast. And he's had this, this test done before, again, years ago, like 15 years ago. Um, and when he had it before, he had to fast and he wasn't allowed to drive and all of that. But they didn't tell him any of this this time. And they didn't, it's not on the mailer that they sent us either. So he just went ahead and fasted. So he got home this morning and went right to bed because he's starving. His appointment's not until 1 o'clock. <laughs> so if he didn't have to fast, he's going to be so angry. Because you know when you get hungry, you get those hangries I call them yeah so he fasted just in case but I have I'm gonna call them at nine o'clock and and uh, ask them so we know for sure because if he didn't have to fast then as soon as he gets up to go to this appointment he's gonna probably want to mouse up and down <laughs> so so that's what we're doing today. That's on the agenda for today. Um, but other than that, that's it. I just thought I would sit and have a cup of coffee with you guys. And uh, I will go. I want to say, oh, thank you guys too for, I think I checked my subscriber count last night. What was it? 220, I think. Something like that. I think you guys are awesome. You guys are so awesome. And um, like I had those... It was about a week there. I wasn't really uploading anything because we just had a ton of stuff going on. So, um, but I'm back to normal now. And I think tonight, actually, I'll probably upload this video this morning. Um, and then I think tonight, probably right before dinner, um, I'm going to make that pepperoni dip that I had mentioned. I had a couple requests for um, me to share that pepperoni dip with you guys so I think I'm gonna go ahead and and record that so maybe that'll be up by tomorrow for you guys um, it is so yummy my mom makes a pepperoni dip and I think it's this is this is one that um, I had found a recipe 
on Pinterest a while ago, so, um, and it is very yummy. I made it one other time, and I think it's like the same one that my mom uses, actually, because my mom makes like a pepperoni dip, too, that's really yummy. So, I will share it with you guys, though. And, uh, um, I guess that's it for now. I will go, and, um, I guess I'll see you guys in my next video. Later, Gators.